Hello. Now, a lot of us learn at school that the Earth is 93 million miles away from the Sun, which is about 150 million kilometres. But you know what? That is only true twice a year. So the Earth doesn't have a perfectly circular orbit. It orbits in an elliptical orbit with the Sun offset from the centre. So that means there are certain times of year when Earth is close to the Sun and other times when it's further away. Now, the amazing thing is the distance here is a whole 3 million miles or 5 million kilometres closer than this distance here. Now I'm actually recording this video on the day when Earth is closest to the Sun, actually within a couple of hours. And as you'd imagine, you know, I've got the t-shirt on, it must therefore be really hot outside, so I'm going to go outside and see what the weather's like. So, hopefully as you can see, it's, it's not actually very warm today. Ice. Right, that's better. Well, yes, it's the 4th of January and today is the day when we're closest to the sun. So, over there, we're about 91 and a half million miles away, about 147 and a half million kilometres. So why is it so cold? Okay, so the reason is because instead of the Earth being exactly lined up, with the sun, it's tilted about 23 degrees, like that. And so that means that in December, which is close to the point when we're close to the sun, for a northern hemisphere observer like me, we don't actually get very much daylight this time of year. See there? Sun is set here, rises, never gets very high, and then the sun is set here. However, in summer, in June, the Earth is tilted more towards it, and in fact the North Pole is in permanent sunshine during the summer. So we get a lot more sunshine, so the sun's up for a long time. So not only do we get longer days in the summer, but during summer, the rays from the sun are concentrated in a smaller area. And in winter, the same amount of sunlight is striking a much larger area, so it's more spread out, and therefore it's a little bit cooler. Now obviously, in the southern hemisphere, the situation is reversed. So yes, today is the day when we are closest to the sun, and it's January. Now, obviously the northern hemisphere has winter at this time of year, and so it's coolest, and then in July, when we're furthest away, the northern hemisphere has summer. The situation is reversed in the southern hemisphere. But, as we saw earlier, the seasons are caused by the tilt of the Earth and not by how far away the sun is. Now, never look at the sun directly without adequate eye protection, but it is possible to work out how much closer we are. It turns out the sun appears about 7% brighter right now than it does in July. It's about 3% wider. So, thanks for watching.